Hey guys, Angry Joe here, and guess what I got my hands on? XCOM Enemy Within. Hell to the yes, the first substantial expansion to uh, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, you guys know my love for the franchise and how much I love strategy games, so of course I gotta do uh, some Let's Play videos. Uh, two of them to show you guys what's been added and what's been changed in XCOM and it's always a good idea to have an excuse to go through the game one more time. Uh, I've been sort of missing it. So the first thing up is uh, a new resource called Meld and it's basically a resource on the maps that need to be captured within a certain turn time uh, which adds a new strategic element to uh, you know how you're fighting the aliens whether you want to risk your soldier's life to gain this valuable resource that you can use on various new things later or whether you want to try to rush to eliminate all the aliens in the map before because if you kill them all you get all the meld in the map but that's very difficult to do um, so you got that resource meld well what is this meld used for well it's gonna unlock two new research paths that uh, are, are kind of integrated within the current resource tree it's not its own research tree it's just within the current one so first one you're gonna have gene mods after you do alien autopsies uh, you're going to be able to modify your soldiers to do certain crazy things like uh, regenerating their health, uh, improving their eyes, their reaction time, their aiming, all sorts of really cool stuff. You're, you're just enhancing the human body, essentially, in that particular uh, path. The other path is mech troopers, which are these large mech troopers where you put you basically chop your your soldiers hand hands and arms and legs off and you say hey sucks to be you but now you've got robot and you're a cyborg and you can put them in these big mech machines and of course these things have fucking flamethrowers and and massive kinetic fists that you can burst through walls and possibly enemies as well well of course enemies as well i'm gonna try to at least so uh those are some of the new uh interesting additions to the game there's a lot more actually first the aliens get their own versions of the mech troopers they're called mech toids it's basically a, just a sectoid in the mech suit because they're using the same meld resource and then you've got seekers which is a new like squid like flying unit that cloaks sometimes and and really just picks on your snipers and your units that you leave out alone and uh, I really like the way they program the AI behavior on these guys because when you see them they mostly run away from you and then like surprise you later on um, and then another really interesting thing is they have this new faction so you got humans aliens and now a third faction called the exalt and the Exalt basically is a faction of humans that want the aliens to come to Earth and try to fuck with your shit in XCOM. So, uh, there's actually a lot more, but I don't want to sit here at the uh, starting screen the whole time. Let's actually jump into a game and I can talk to you more about what's in the actual expansion that you can pick up for, I think it's uh, 30 bucks. It's only $29.99. You get a bunch of uh, uh, new additions to the game. Let's build a mech trooper. Let's see. Oliver. Augment soldier. Alright, it's gonna take us three days. Okay, let's go ahead and skip ahead a few days. Two days, one day, here we go. We can build him. We can make him better. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable. But they're of no use without a cyber suit to interface with. Oh. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. That has got when to suck. <laughs> but yet, be awesome at the same time. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, you'd be stronger than any other dude. But you'd also have to get rid of your real limbs. Oh, that's scary. But that suit is pretty awesome. So let's freaking use this thing in combat. What do you say? Let's do it. So you'll notice a lot of new map types in this game, uh, mostly focusing on urban areas, which is really cool, but there's also the cool uh, classic farm levels. This one is interesting. It's like a train station, train outpost. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, big sky. 
Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Oh hell yeah. And I'm gonna choose try to grab him first. And uh bring him out to lead the way. Okay. Whoa. Alien canister located. Alien canister located. Well, let's get up there, because that meld recoverable is only going to last three turns if we want it. Get up there, Amber Van Dam. He could go out in the open, because he's a badass. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Get a little bit of support on the side. Yes, sir. Cinematic camera action. Bring it on, aliens. Fox. You alien menace. I'm ready for you. Trying to invade my fucking. Let's do this. Trying to invade my country. Oh my god. Here they come. I see two of them. She was able to get into position. Van Dam needs to get there now. Three turns is a bit quick. Wow, look at how freaking far this guy can go. That is freaking awesome. Let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, shit. We got the other meld location. Roger that. There looks to be quite a bit of stuff we could do there. I'm gonna put you over there so you can see what the hell's going on. Uh, no alien contact. Let's see if we could support you with uh, one guy. Huh. All right, David. Let's see what they got. Gonna do their alien mind meld trickery. It's not gonna help you. Here they come. Oh, shit. Oh my God, here they come. Got a few more. Left side, left side. Let's see if we can get a good shot. 55, that's good. Hit him, hit him. Boom, baby. Target is a miss. All right, ground level here. Here we go. 1%, 9%, oh, damn it. That is not good. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We need more, we need better cover than this. I'm gonna come around. You keep them pinned. Oh, that probably wasn't a good idea because now he'll just come around and flank me. Dang it. Made an error, all right. Collected that mail that's gonna give us 10 mail right away. I think these guys are gonna need some help. Moving out. All right, we'll finally get to see what he could do. Let's fucking let's beast it. Prepare to eat mini gun. Oh, I like this new class. <laughs> oh, he's only got one shot. Oh, what the hell? And killing that one, that's right. Automatically kills the alien that he mind melded with. That's freaking cool. Okay. Wonder what this, uh, this circle is around him. Probably the kinetic strike or the collateral damage. I'm not sure. But look what we can do. 
We can pretty much come all the way over here still, right? Nope. Let's just clear this room real quick. Oh no! I didn't expect that! Oh shit, I should have fucking cleared the room with... Oh damn it. Alright, Lee Ming, get out of there. Making a few rookie mistakes. And they're gonna flank me. Oh! That, that hurt. That hurt. Take out the alien. Going in for the kill. What the? Hit him. Can you get him? Oh, he popped his head around. Do it! Do it! Now! Oh my god. That's not good. They're flanking me too. I could see both of them. I'm gonna wanna do that. Hit, please hit him, please hit him. Oh my god. That was high risk. And you dead too. Cause that had I missed that, he would have been able to flank me pretty easy. Alright, here we go. Moving out. <laughs> Hello boys! <laughs> Kinetic strike, a melee attack that does 12. Will it hit that? I don't know. I really want to punch something. You guys think I should wait to see if I can punch something? Alright, let's fucking punch something. Ah, uh, oh damn it, I should have ran right into his face. Alright, well. Top minigun time. <laughs> Resupply request Red has been eliminated. Let's punch that last remaining alien. Just because we can. Put her on Overwatch just in case he runs away. Get this one down here to grab the meld. Let's see what you can do. What kind of damage can you do to my mech soldier? I will brush that off. That is is a flesh wound compared to what I'm about to you do to you. Oh yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, here we go. Let's get close in here. Kinetic strike. Engage. Oh, boom! <laughs> Hell yes. Okay, I love the new class. <laughs> punching fucking fools through the walls, through brick walls, punching alien big heads. It fucking squashed like a bug. Like a bug. Sweet. That was an awesome, well done mission. Excellent all around. I think I deserve to unlock a medal. Some kind of close combat medal, or a medal that I can rename as a close combat award in honor of that awesome moment. Oh, you got a promotion. Let's see what kind of, here we go. Oh no, that was good. Okay, so close and personal. Let's do that. And... Sniper. Head squad sight. There we go. Oh, come on. I needed a medal for that. Oh, I didn't get one. The urban combat badge is now unlocked. Visit the barracks to designate a special capability for this medal. Rename it and award it to a soldier. Oh, you know what that means. With the new fucking medal system. I got some, some good stuff here. 20 mel, some corpses, and best part, four scientists. We will be in touch, Commander. You do that. Your voice is freaking awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the barracks, view the medals, urban combat badge, and let us r r assign the power, 
defense when in cover or aim when in when aliens are in full cover. Oh, it's not a themed. It's not themed. I wanted to create this badge that awards people for close combat actions, but I bet you that's another uh, thing that you have to do. Another uh, something you have to do within the game uh, to unlock that type of badge. But um, not really sure why I got this medal. Uh, I guess I did kill some aliens that were behind cover. Um, let's see. And do we want plus five aim against enemies in full cover, or do we want plus five defense when in cover? I got to go with plus five defense in cover. The urban combat badge is, is named pretty aptly. But I will rename it the, what do we do for something in defense? Uh, the Stalwart Defender. Defender. Those who come from the ranks of the angry army, desiring to be better gods for their friends and allies, shall be awarded the Stalwart Defender Medal. Award the medal to the mech troop. No, because he's not going to use cover much. The Sniper. There you go, soldier. Be proud. And I salute you too, ma'am. There you go. Sweet. Plus five defense when in cover. It's this fun little thematic thing. It's a fun little thematic thing. Adding medals. Adding those new uh, troop types. So what you saw there is you saw uh, the basic, the, the mechs. The other angle that you can do is you can use uh, science. See, the annex to the research labs will allow us to genetically modify our soldiers. This facility accounts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. So that's good, and, and we want that. Uh, so let's go ahead and build the genetics lab. Five power. How much power do we have? Just enough. No, oh, this one. Three power, rather. Ten days? No. Laboratory increases speed by 20%. Yes. Yes. We've got enough scientists for it. We've got enough power for it. This we're probably going to need a power generator here pretty soon, but let's go ahead and build the we're just able to fit the access lift. That's good. So we could put the power generator on one of these lower levels so we can keep the adjacency for all my laboratories. <laughs> to the right. I love it. Love building the best base possible. So uh, that was it for basically the sort of introduction to XCOM Enemy Within, which is the new expansion out right now for XCOM. I'm a huge fan of XCOM, and it's it, I've already <laughs> already having a good time. Essentially, um, sort of first impressions. What it does is it feels like you're playing the original game. Okay, it's not you know completely separate. It integrates itself uh, very completely within the original experience. So there are some pros and cons to that. The cons are that you're gonna get mostly the same cutscenes. I mean, there are new cutscenes for the new facilities and the new research paths and options. Um, they also said that some of the uh, side missions that can appear actually have conclusions now towards the end of the story, which, you know, the original didn't, didn't do a real good job of that. Uh, but some of the cons uh, are that, unfortunately, and this is something that I complained about in the review, the ending is exactly the same. I'll, I'll be upfront with you guys about that. The fucking ending video is the same, the same mission. So I, was, I felt a little unsatisfied there with the end mission in the original XCOM. It has not improved here. I'm sad to see that because they had many, many months to give us a brand new ending for this, you know, sort of expansion instead of plugging in all these new things. Uh, they should have done that, but then plugged in a new ending. That would have been really cool. Um, to the flip side of that, they did address one of the hugest uh, requests that I had, one of the biggest disappointments I had with the original, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is base invasion. Yes, the aliens can now invade your fucking base, and I'm hoping to show you that in the next video, so stay tuned for part two of XCOM Enemy Within, where the aliens... D 
dare invade the angry army headquarters? Will we be overrun or will we be victorious? Okay, so I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.